Welcome to our uh, seminar, Many Faces of Religious Fundamentalism. As I uh, told you in our first meeting, uh, I will send you uh, each week a uh, uh, short uh, introductory uh, film, a kind of uh, commentary to the coming class. Uh, it means that we will start our class not uh, quarter past uh, uh, one, but uh, one and a half, uh, so that you will uh, consider this uh, 15 minutes of this uh, warming up film as a time which you will spend uh, uh, in class. And uh, the purpose of this uh, 15 minutes is not to give you uh, precisely what our class will be about, because uh, usually it is unpredictable. Unpredictable because of your questions, because of unexpected events which will happen during the week, and sometimes they could be connected with our uh, topic. Uh, some fundamentalists uh, will, made, uh, will make uh, a news and we will include it into our class. Or perhaps uh, some of your, your experiences are so important and vivid for the topic that you will include it uh, immediately. So we have uh, to reschedule or reshape our, our meeting. And uh, it is also uh, today in our first uh, uh, meeting that I include uh, an, a certain event which is uh, relevant, namely um, a very influential uh, a journalist, a, a radio uh, speaker, who for many, many decades or years uh, shaped uh, views uh, on uh, religion, culture, politics of many millions of Americans. And uh, when he passed away, uh, just uh, at the beginning of um, February of this year, uh, many commentators wrote about him. So I thought it will be not uh, out of uh, purpose of our course, to include him as a part of our reflection, how important it is uh, to be aware that some influential uh, public intellectuals or celebrities are influencing uh, views of our people uh, also because uh, this person um, representing uh, fundamentalistic uh, views. And the person in case is uh, Rush uh, Limbo, Rush Limbo, uh, who, um, as I said, uh, was very important for many. But what I propose you to read an article, which you will find um, on uh, our platform, uh, campus platform. All of you have uh, a connection to this platform. So all texts uh, I will send directly th there. It's just a few pages, but I think it will give you um, a sense of how uh, not uh, texts, books, uh, films, but just a personality is so important. And the way which I propose you to read him, and in class I will say more, is an article uh, published in National Catholic Reporter, is the um, important platform in, uh, for American uh, Catholics, uh, progressive Catholics or liberal Catholics. And uh, the journalist who wrote about uh, Rush Limbo, uh, Michael C. Winters, uh, wrote very uh, aptly about uh, 
Rush Limbaugh, uh, quoting others. But what is important uh, for me that you will end, read carefully this uh, article and perhaps uh, to complement it with with the uh, Wikipedia entry to read about uh, Limbo more and and you will uh, have your own opinion. I will present my own. I confess that it will be a very critical one because I consider the public intellectuals, influential people in the public sphere who are using fundamentalistic uh, categories, uh, black-white colors, uh, very strong negative stereotypes, uh, that uh, their role are actually negative. But it could be that some of you could have a different opinion and I will be more than eager to hear your opinion. So it's just to invite you uh, to read uh, this uh, few pages article from uh, National Catholic Reporter and to make your own opinion. I will repeat some of my observations in class, but this is, I hope it will be a good, nice and updated introduction to uh, our topic. So this is why fundamentalism uh, will be the topic. The second article, uh, which I uh, put on, on uh, our platform is taken from a very, uh, for me in any way, authoritative source as the Britannica Encyclopedia, which is, uh, which is more uh, balanced, very well informed, usually written by expert in the field, uh, just uh, on the topic um, uh, on uh, fundamentalism, religious fundamentalism. The author, who is professor at one of the American universities and Chicago universities, um, uh, Henry uh, Manson, uh, give us a, a very uh, competent, although short and concise, view of uh, fundamentalism in uh, three monotheistic religions. And again, uh, you know, this 10, 11 pages uh, is uh, more an invitation to enter in this way of thinking about religion in different way. So not that religion is just a set uh, of dogmas, beliefs, but uh, that religion, uh, when uh, it uh, have uh, has this um, fundamentalistic uh, characteristics uh, shaping in a certain period different group of adherents of Christianity, of uh, Judaism and uh, Islam. We can, of course, and I gave you a link to, to this encyclopedia um, entry and you can read for yourself entire one, entire text, uh, Manson uh, wrote also about um, Sikhism, Hinduism, and we can add uh, other. But what is important for me, uh, and this is why I encourage you to read this, that you enter in some uh, concept, basic concept, uh, names, uh, that uh, our um, study of uh, fundamentalism will be less abstract. So in order to have your opinion, if fundamentalism is the positive phenomenon, because it gives the sense uh, uh, of life to many people, uh, that uh, it uh, and kind of give a frame for passion, uh, full of passion, uh, full of determinism, engagement in, in some life project, you know, we can, we can find a different uh, interpretation of why fundamentalism became so relevant. But for me, uh, at the beginning, to uh, again, to warming up our, our meeting or our meetings during the semester is to have this air or eye for uh, fundamentalism as a widely spread phenomenon in modern culture.
So uh, in order to ask right questions, in order to um, realize that this phenomenon is uh, the recent one, or that it has a very precise causes, it's very important to name it and to have uh, our look uh, directed to certain um, points, uh, certain geographical areas in our modern world. And of course, for us, uh, America is the main um, target, so to say, the main um, uh, field of our interest. You will find uh, how important uh, fundamentalism became uh, for certain uh, Christian groups. And uh, I will tell more in class. Here is only to encourage you to, to see uh, Christianity under this uh, angle as a frame for very radical way of thinking about who we are, so the question of identity, what it means to be Christian today, what it means to, to be involved in certain uh, theological or political project, who stay behind it, and so on and so on. So I, I think this is very, uh, very important to to enter in, in the psych psychology or in, in the motivation of people who are shaping our world, our religious landscape in the United States. Uh, why uh, I included also from this um, uh, encyclopedia Judaism, because uh, Christian uh, fundamentalism, uh, Christian or Protestant uh, uh, fundamentalism is, is closely uh, related to, uh, to Judaism uh, and particularly to the, to the modern st Jewish state Israel. So it's also important, of course, study of Near East and the tension between Near East and, and other Islamic countries is not the subject of our seminar. But nevertheless, in order to understand uh, certain decisions of, uh, for example, President Trump, why he moved uh, the capital, the em embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, in a way to say that Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. So it seems uh, completely abstract uh, move of the important politician, but behind is also religious uh, fundamentalism. And of course, it's good to know that with these two fundamentalists, um, fundamentalisms, uh, Christian and, and, and Jewish, is uh, a partner or opponent uh, Muslim or Islamic fundamentalism. And in class, we will develop this, uh, but uh, uh, now, in this few remarks, I just encourage you to, to read these two texts and to think about uh, what you already know about, what is new for you, and to find a way how to digest slowly these new notions uh, of religious fundamentalism. And since uh, our class is so... Uh, um, you are so different from different countries. So please remember, as I uh, told you in class already, include in your reading, in your thinking, also experiences uh, from your respective countries uh, where these three religions are present or not present, how they are present. So I hope that uh, together we will be able to answer in this um, second our meeting uh, why uh, study of fundamentalism is important and why fundamentalism, uh, religious fundamentalism in particular as such, became so relevant uh, in our public debate today.